YouTube, how you doing? Jay loves you too. Welcome, friends. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching. Today, I'm going to share with you a very, very great and lucrative technique for you to know, for you to be able to use to instantly achieve balance. I had a video about another technique that individuals could use to balance your mind and it implied of simply opening your mouth and placing the tongue at the roof of your mouth to achieve balance and this is the only reason is when you look at it scientifically when you close your mouth you're basically tensing the muscles in your neck and at any, and at any given point in time there's always a current of energy trying to be expelled out the mouth when you close your mouth you basically close off your neck and you kind of restrict that energy flow from freely leaving your mouth but by opening your mouth you relax the muscles in your neck and you allow the energy to flow and then be expelled out the mouth the second thing about the method was by placing the tongue at the roof of your mouth this will create a center point within your brain and it will encourage you to achieve balance to synchronize both hemispheres of your brain now on this particular video I want to share with you something you can add to this method to amplify the effects of the balancing to better the whole meditation you might be doing and this will serve you greatly now the video is about your body's connection to your mind and to sum it all up your brain is in fact your body it's all the same entity your body is your mind and they're both one and the same any state of mind will take manifestation in your physiology so just know every gesture you might make anything that you might do with your body has a corresponding effect with your mind and you know your mindset so with this video I'll start by saying because I'm going to share with you a method but I'll start by saying your fingertips are of course the beginning of your nervous system but a lot of people are not aware how significant our fingertips actually are when you look at the anatomy of the fingertips you will be almost surprised to know that each fingertip is f concentrated flooded with the same material that makes up your brain there your fingertips are packed with nerves so much so that many scientists and the cultists in the past claimed that your fingertips should be seen as brains as many brains and the energy of your fingertips is highly magnetic very massive the manifestation of the energy in your fingertips is of course different and you can some you can sum you can sum it all up by basically distinguishing the energies of each fingertip with an element the element that powers my thumb is fire the element that powers my index is air the element that powers my middle finger is space ether the element that powers my ring finger is earth and the element that powers my pinky is water these elements constitutes my whole body constitutes my whole nervous system and all you need to know is that these elements begins at the fingertips your fingertips are very significant when it comes to the nervous system and of course you know your nervous system is the medium between your mind and your body there are one entity but your nervous system is a very big deal and your fingertips is the beginning of your nervous system your hands are m magnets I spoke about this in one of my past videos but your body is a magnetic 
force it's a magnetic uh, uh, vessel and your hands is basically one of the main magnets of the body there are four and those four are your hands your spine your brain and the bottom of your feet out of your whole body you'll be surprised to know that your hands encase a major more connections to your brain than a majority of your whole body my hands are directly connected to my brain the intelligence here in your heart that you use to express yourself in the world how is this intelligence expressed it's expressed by expanding by opening up right it's also expressed by manipulation and how do you manipulate you manipulate with your hands your hands are very significant because it also encases your aura field your energy is always being projected out of your hands your hands is like magnets one is positive pole the other is negative pole but your energy is always your, your energy can be found in your palms basically and your brain takes manifestation in your hands your hands is the best tool to use when sending thoughts if you want to give somebody a thought all you have to do is simply touch them and charge your touch with the magnetism charge your touch with that thought your brain is your hands next time you shake somebody's hand give them love think about love and just love give them a handshake with that love and all you really need to know is that the energy in your brain is always being broadcasted in your hands your hands are connected with your brain and this is knowledge you will need to know to better to better your understanding of this technique I'm about to show you in this video my right hand is the manifestation of the energies in my left brain and my left hand is the manifestation of the energy in my right brain emotions such as anger anxiety frustration envy jealousy regret doubt what does this all mean when you feel emotions such as these or any emo emotion that gives you discomfort that means you are only using one side of your brain one side of your being you're not using your whole being you're using aspects of yourself and this is the cause of a lot of conflicts individuals have because of society because of the environment because of the people because of the situations because of the food because of everything it kinds of it kind of encourage people and pressure people into using one side of their brains and over time this causes you not to be in balance and when you're not in balance it stops you from experiencing love bliss joy the ineffable you can't experience the ineffable if your brains are not balanced if you're you can't experience the ineffable if you're using one side of your brain you must use your brain as one unit to experience God to experience divinity to be at peace to be at joy so this method you're basically going to do just that I'm going to teach you how to use to to use your body to subconsciously tell your body to tell your body to connect both sides of your brains together before I tell you the method another thing that you should know is that your eyes are in fact the window to your soul your eyes are your brain there's a cord that connects to your brain from your eye and you should just start to see your eyes straight up as your brain my right eye is the manifestation of my left brain and my left eye is the manifestation of my right brain and just like my hands they are directly connected 
very connected so keep that in mind so the method is very simple and overlooked but by simply connecting my right brain by simply connecting my left brain and my right brain connecting at the fingertips and lastly connecting at my palm I'm telling my body subconsciously to synchronize my brain hemispheres this simple gesture that a lot of people overlook is one of the most powerful tools humans at this time can use to achieve instant balance within their minds this is your brain people this is your brain this is the manifestation of your brain your hands by simply doing so you are bridging the connections you are connecting yourself you are balancing yourself you are creating an eager equilibrium you are telling your body to become whole to amplify this technique because this technique is very powerful but to amplify this simple gesture of connecting your hands to have a more holistic experience I encourage the use of your eyes like I said before your eyes are in fact your brain if you want to center your brain if you want to center yourself use your eyes create a center point and the best point to center yourself is where pure consciousness lies at here in the center of your eyebrows by connecting your hands and also connecting your eyes at a center point here you are oh my gosh you just have to try it do like so connect your palms create a center point with your eyes and this will balance you 10 minutes 15 minutes 20 minutes as long as it takes guys this is highly powerful very powerful technique to achieve balance another thing you can do to amplify this technique is to place your tongue at the roof of your mouth this also creates a center point and it also fuses both sides of your brain and by doing these three things connecting your hands placing your tongue at the top of your roof and having that center gaze here you are aligning yourself with that energy thank you so much for watching guys but I want this video to be quick and straight to the point this gesture of putting your hands together is highly overlooked and neglected but it's one of the most powerful ways of achieving balance in your body when your mind is at balance it's more easy for you to experience joy peace bliss and all all the rest of the good stuff so take advantage of the connection your hands have of your brain take connect take advantage of the connection your eyes have for your brain take connection I mean take advantage of the connection your tongue have of your whole body connect these three centers lock it there and achieve balance thank you for watching guys Jay love you too good luck on your journey I love you